Coming up next, Living Romance, The Sunday Night Sex Show, and Let Me Call You Sweetheart on W. Today on Living Romance. For some reason, these proud parents of seven-month-old twins need a break and a romantic resuscitation. We're all over it. Plus, can this matchmaker really fan the flames of romance until they burn into flames of passion? When you least expect it, a bolt from the blue. Go on and kiss him, darling. This is all about love. All about love. Cause when it's wrong, you know, it's never, never love. This is all about love. Yeah, this is all about love. Welcome to Living Romance. I'm Ramona Milano, and this is the show that celebrates romantic love. I'm Jonathan Torrance, and if you're like me, you like those home decorating shows on TV where they really do a number on someone's house. I love when the couples come back at the end and their conservative dining oh. room's been transformed into like some jungle themed playground. So funny. But we're not doing that. No, but we are jumping on the renovation craze, but in our case, it's gonna be more of a romantic renovation. This is the home of Mark and Andrea and their seven month old twins, Everett and Helena, which you can imagine, very little room for sleep in this house, let alone romance. I would say so. I know. Which is why today we're gonna dive into the sea of plastic toys and just make their space a little more romance friendly. Team, break. Surprise! Surprise! We got you guys so bad. <laughs> We're the romantic renovators. I'm Jonathan, this is Ramona. We heard that you guys are desperately seeking a break, and today is your lucky day. It's your lucky day. So when was the last time you guys had a date? <laughs> uh, Nine, ten months ago? Longer than that, probably maybe a year ago. Nine what did months you do before for your date born? a year ago, do you remember? Uh, I think we went out to dinner and we went to a movie. Yeah. But I don't remember for That's sure. your last date? Yeah. Okay, well, today, all that's going to change. Mark, we've taken the liberty of arranging a day off work for you. That's great. Andrea, we've arranged for Mark's mother to be here to look after the kids. That's great. Because we're going to send you guys out away from the house for a little bit while we transform the house and make it a little more romantic, right? A little right? more. A little more. No. Get your coats. Okay. We're all over it. Don't worry about it. Okay. We're on baby patrol. Bye. Come here, cutie. You come with me. Hi there. You can join my hair. Hello. Hello. Bye, honey. Bye. Bye, guys. Have fun. Matchmaking is the art of helping two people find each other. He's in his mid-50s. He's six feet tall. Well, my romantic life started when my mother said to me at a very young age, have as many boyfriends as you can. And I did. I had been doing it in high school for fun, and I got a lot of pleasure out of it because I was always a social butterfly, and I'd always, when I'd meet people, I'd say, do you have a girlfriend? Oh, I know somebody that w you would like. My philosophy of being single was to not be single. <laughs> I didn't want to be. I'm actually quite shy. I don't like to meet new people. I don't like to go to parties. I don't like to expose myself to strangers. So being single was not a comfortable thing for me, and then being in the public eye on top of it, I would go to public places and people would know me before I'd know them. So I would start talking to them like a normal woman and they would start answering questions as if they already knew me. So I found that really disconcerting and very difficult to deal with in a dating way. So I ended up dating mostly people that I worked with, people who know me as a person, not as a television personality. Matching Erica was a brainstorm. It came to me one day and I Hello, Mary. <laughs> I just went with it. Hi, Mary. What happened was I got a phone call from my mother who had received a phone call from a matchmaker out of the blue saying, I have someone for your daughter. So I said, I don't think so. And my mom said, wait, let me tell you what the matchmaker said. She said, this one's gorgeous. He looks like a movie star. He does karate. He's an inventor. This one is going to go fast. This is what my mom tells me on the phone. So both of us are laughing hysterically. And I went, I don't think so, mommy. Um, I just saw this gorgeous guy in front of me. And when I thought of who I could set him up with, Erica M. came to mind. I don't like meeting strangers. And I also wonder if people want to meet me because I'm that girl on TV 
or because they might find me attractive in some other way. And I said, we got to get Erica to meet him. Is Erica available? And she said, yes, actually, Erica is available. Number two, there's a stigma about people who hire matchmakers. Can't you find your own date? Well, I think that people are really busy living in the material world with their busy jobs, and they just don't have time to find their mates. And the most common way of meeting your life companion is through a friend or a relative. And I'm that friend that speaks really highly of you and knows tons of people and can actually get the job done and give you some results. And then at the end of the conversation, I don't know, something, a little bell went off in my head, and I said, Mom, do you think I should go? And my mother said, you know what? You never have to see the guy again. Go and experience things. It just felt like it was going to be right. It was like a, a little voice came to me and said, Erica M for this guy, and I was right. Uh, I was sharing a house with this guy, so he knew that I was going on this blind date. And we both were peeking out of the window from upstairs, and I see a car drive up. And it was like, a car. He has a car. This was a good sign, because a lot of the guys that I dated in my business, they don't even have cars, because they're starving artists. So that was a good sign. Comes out of the car, and the guy I'm living with goes, he's cute. We met on September 7th, and we got married October 11th of the following year. So it was really quick. How did that matchmaker know? Because here's two people who really never should have met. On paper, we don't really match that well. And yet, somehow this woman brought this guy and this girl together. It's because of her that I have this beautiful little boy and soon to be a beautiful little girl. My whole life changed because of one phone call. I never met her. I never met the matchmaker, ever. She had called my mom. She had met Terry. And then Terry called me. We went on a date. We started dating. Her job was done. Um, my husband and I went to a party. And we were mingling with the guests. And all of a sudden, my husband came up to me and said, look who it is, look who it is. And this crazy, cool woman comes running at me, screaming, oh my god. And I went, rabid fan, run. And I went, I'm sorry, I don't know. She goes, it's me, Evelyn Potok. And I went, that's you? Because I figured that she'd look like someone from, you know, crossing Delancey or something. I've, I figured she was this older, gray-haired woman that was very traditional. Oh, she's like a Queen Street chick, Toronto, you know, downtown gal. She's wearing a little, a little corset, and, you know, she looked slutty and cool. And I said, that's you? I started Balling. And then we hugged. Thank you so much. My husband went up to them, looked at Erica and said, fairy tales do come true. It could happen to you. And Erica grabbed onto Terry so tight and they were hugging and it was so romantic. She was smart, well, private, go, witty, yeah. fun. The things I, I like, right? <laughs> <laughs> What can I tell you? It, it, was, it was interesting, right? So it worked. Well, I believe that matchmaking makes more sense now than it ever has. I would encourage people to do whatever it takes and not to turn opportunities down. You never know what's behind the next door. Well, God, am I glad I waited because I really did get Prince Charming. It just took a long time to find him. preference by L'Oreal? Because it's the gold standard. Fade resistant colorants mean my color stays truer longer. And with six weeks of conditioning, my hair color stays alive and so soft. That's preference by L'Oreal Paris. I know you're worth it. Santa's jollier than ever, because Christmas at Bentley's the way to go. Ski gloves, 60% off, $4.99. Man's leather wallets, 40% off, $5.55. This 29-inch upright, 60% off, $49.99. 
At Bentley, you'll always find the right gift at the right price. Like the super deal in stainless steel at only $4.44. Look for a flyer in the mail. Bentley, seriously into Christmas, no matter what your bag is. <laughs> What'd you have for dinner? Hungry man! Buffalo-style chicken! You! A sliver of trout spritzed with lemon! And maybe carrots! Should have had hungry man from Swanson. With a pound of food, it's good to be full. And when you're starved for time, try delicious Swanson dinners. And now, single-serve hearty bowls. There's never been an easy way to get rid of those tough marks around your home. Until now. Introducing the new Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. With just water, it removes those marks and scuffs so easily, you'll be surprised. So surprised, and you'll look for reasons to use it. Use the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser again and again. It even removes crayon. Clean your tough dirt with Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. Welcome back to Living Romance, where our romantic ambush is well underway. We've sent the parents, Mark and Andrea, off for an afternoon of pampering. Grandma's sequestered upstairs with the babies. And now it's time to begin the transformation of our home from Babyville into a love shack. Yes, but not to fear. We're not doing it alone. We have design expert Eric Aragon here to help us out. Hey, Eric. Hey, Eric. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. good. So, Eric, this, believe it or not, is the dining room in Mark yes. and Andrea's home. Yes. Doesn't look much like not, a dining room, really. does it? Not really. It's now. Babyville, definitely. Yeah. yeah. So, I was thinking... Good idea. ...that we would um, work some textures and do something really low to the, t low to the ground, uh, very much inspired by Southeast and Asian kind of inspiration, working with deep, rich reds, textures, some fur, Ooh. silk, um, a lot of pillows on the ground so they can lie down, not be constructed by any space, and create something a lot very romantic with candlelight. See what you have at home, play around with what you've got, come up with an idea or a theme. For instance, today we're doing a lot of stuff with red, so if you have stuff with red, great, use it. If you have a lot of stuff with blue, you can still make blue very romantic by playing around with it. Yeah, so it's not just out. about making it romantic, you want to actually give it some sort of a theme. Yeah, you need to have a setting for romance, so okay. that's what we're trying to do. Now, I'm not much of an interior decorator. I couldn't pull this off, could I? Anyone can pull this off, it's really basic. For us, what we want to do is use red as our palette, but we wanted to do everything low. So a lot of these pillows that we have here, they can easily be the cushions from your sofa, so which is a great thing. You can go out there and buy yourself a little bit of fun fur, but if not, get your most comfortable duvet and put it down. It's all about softness and yeah. texture and comfort. Some comfort. This is an organza a tablecloth, but you can just use a tablecloth, a regular tablecloth, and put a little sparkle itself and put it on your table. Right, and this so. also went with your theme, so it doesn't have. If you don't have these type of materials in your house, you don't have to go with this theme necessarily. No, not at all. You can use a moldy old bed sheet if that's what you have. If that's what you think romance is, <laughs> of course. Yeah, um, the, the table itself was really basic to do. It's just MDF board cut to our size that we wanted. Just as you saw, it's like a milk crate underneath. Yeah. So the idea of just being able to do a small low table is really easy to do. Here's a good tip for you. Most flower shops, um, they all sell roses, but what they do is they take out the outer petals, but they keep them. So you can just go there and say, hi, I'd like to get some flower petals. Really? You can buy the flower petals? Yeah, sometimes oh, okay. you can get them for five bucks a bag. So just go there and reserve it and put them aside and they'll do it for you. Good job. I'd say our work here is done. Yeah, let's get upstairs. Where should we start besides the obvious. Well, first of all, let's get rid of the sports page. Um, other things we should get rid of is any sort, anything that sort Orders. of tells time. So we don't want to know anything that's time's passing when you're in your romantic getaway. Yeah. Correct? Not very uh, romantic. Exactly. The remote control needs to go. We need to get that out of the room. Sports page and the remote control. Any kind, anything that's a distraction. But our main inspiration for today is the rose petals from downstairs. And this is a beautiful piece of lingerie. That is which beautiful. Is, yeah, I think they're going to like it a lot. Um, keeping rose, in theme. Keeping in theme. We're going to actually use the same fabric to create a nice little framework over the bed. Ooh. We're going to break it up so that this becomes a feature to the room. Let's get started. Okay, Let's go. great. All right. Pillows, nice and high. Carrying the rose petals again will create a little love shape. Like a heart? Yeah. Aww. You're putting a heart on the bed? So sweet. So, I mean, I know I was here and Ramona was here, but what have we done in here? 
is really simple. We didn't do anything structural at all. We actually just made up their bed. That's the basic and accessorized. As you can see, I put a little simple hook up there. They're, these are great. They're just what temporary. What a great idea. Temporary. doesn't last. You know, you can always take it off whenever yeah. you want to. Won't wreck your wall. You're not drilling holes.